This poem is called Love Language? Question mark. I never understood why they call Spanish a romance language. But that was before you. Because I've realized that somewhere along the lines, my heart learned to love in Spanish, which is almost a ridiculous notion. How can a non-sentient muscle learn to expand and contract to a language? Well, mine does. Because you bring out something ancient in me, something Spanish in me. Mi corazón late en una lengua antigua. Each heartbeat murmurs in a language of passion and fire. It sings, Hoy desperté con ganas de besarte. Tengo una sed de acariciarte. You bring out some Mexican shit in me that I didn't even know was there. See, I grew up practically weta, went to white girl school, learned to stomp down the Chicana in me so that I'd be taken seriously. Pero with you, that doesn't matter. You take me seriously. I'm not trying to speak properly because it's like I'm hearing this language for the first time and coming home to it all at once. Our story is played in between the strings of Carlos Santana's guitar. Something old and beautiful and dangerous a little messed up even. Something like the smell of tequila seeping through the walls of the cantina, or the chip in the hand-painted jarrito your abuelita keeps on her kitchen table. Because even though the cantina is Jose Cuervo scented and abuelita's vase has a chip in it, it's still beautiful, it still holds love, and isn't there something so intoxicating about the broken? It's why telenovelas are so popular. The love language does not like happy endings. Oh, but passion? We are linguistic experts in passion. A culture of peoples whose hearts beat in corridos and bailes and red rosas and red dresses and red embers and red and red and beauty. I'm still learning to understand this language, but when you asked me to teach you Spanish, I couldn't help but smile. <laughs> <laughs>